with most modern laptops is that even though the CPU is pretty darn powerful, the GPU is really bad, which is what is preventing them from playing PC VR. But what if there's a way that we could plug in a, a graphics card and be able to play PC VR on a laptop? Oh wait, there is. Hey guys, Shiny here, back again with another Oculus Quest video, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can plug in an external graphics processing unit, or eGPU, and be able to play PC VR on any modern laptop, including Mac. For any of you that don't know what an eGPU is, it is basically this mini computer looking box that you insert a graphics card into and then plug in your laptop. And this transfers all the power of the graphics card onto your laptop, basically turning your laptop into a gaming PC. Now, this still is pretty expensive as the graphics card and the box uh, together cost me around $500, but that's half the price of a PC, and I would say it has uh, kind of the all-around same performance in terms of VR, so I say it's pretty cool, so let's get into it. Okay, so what you need is fairly simple. First, you need a modern laptop that has a CPU that is pretty powerful. Now, I would say at least i5 or above, so if your computer doesn't have this, I'm sorry, this will not work for you. Next, we need a external graphics processing unit and this comes in two parts the case and the graphics card for the case i myself got the razer core x which is fairly expensive but i find that it's the best one and is works with most graphics cards next you're going to need a graphics card now i personally got the nvidia gtx 1660 super as this is a cheap graphics card but it's really powerful although if you want to go amd that's probably the best for max so up to you but now that we got our materials, let's get into the setup. So step one is fairly simple. Simply install your graphics card into your eGPU enclosure case. Now, because the way of doing this may vary between card and eGPU, I'm just going to say the instructions will most likely be on the enclosure case. Um, so I wouldn't listen to anything I said. They're just going to be on the enclosure case instructions. So go ahead and do that. Now the next step is for Mac users only. If you're in Windows, go ahead and skip this to step three. So for you Mac users, you guys will have to follow my other tutorial, how to get Oculus Link on a Mac, which is in the link in the description because that will show you how to boot into Windows. And then once you boot into Windows, just stop right there and follow the rest of the tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I do say you need a certain Mac and a certain graphics card or whatever. So you don't need to worry about all of that. Just do the Windows booting in part, okay? Because that's why we have the eGPU. So you don't need to worry about the certain laptop and the certain thing in the tutorial. Just the Windows booting into and then follow this one, okay? So, yeah. Okay, so step three, you want to hop onto your computer and you want to just install the required drivers. Now, these will be on your card and once again, they vary between card. Although you most likely have to be installing NVIDIA and or AMD drivers. So just look at your card, it will most likely tell you what drivers to install and go ahead and install them or else it would not work. Step four is to go ahead and plug in your graphics card uh, with the case to the wall outlet to your computer and turn it all on. Like, And then hopefully it should connect and if it doesn't, there are various troubleshooting things you can look up. But hopefully it should connect if you did everything correctly and you should now have your graphics card. Now the way to check is to go into device manager and uh, go to display adapters and then you should see your graphics card and there are other ways to check obviously through different softwares but that's how I usually check. So the final step is to go ahead and install all the different softwares you need. For instance, if I, since I'm using Oculus Quest with Link, I'm installing the Oculus software and the Steam software as well as a couple of the games. But there you go, once you install it all, and I'm actually installing it on a two terabyte external hard drive, which is a pretty good option for me. But once you install it all, you should be able to you know, run the software, uh, have your card connected, and be able to play PC VR on a laptop with Link setup or whatever other headset you want to use, which is pretty amazing. Um, and I'm really surprised how well this works. This is Boneworks. I don't know if you guys don't know this, this is a physics based game you see my i have a full body here i have uh and you know everything's physics based these tables which usually would be like you know like impossible to pick up bang i can pick them up but they're kind of heavy ah like they're heavy tables i don't know where it went but yeah uh, that right there this uh 
It's a big sunscreen. I can pick it up, but if I try to use it with one hand, like, like, whoa, that's heavy. I can only use it with two hands. Also, I'm probably going to cut this out, but pretty cool shooting mechanics in here. Watch. Uh-oh, they're coming for me. Not a problem. Whoops. Oh! Call me insane at parkour because that was pretty cool. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys are happy with your new PC VR laptop that you guys can, if you have a small enough enclosure case, actually take anywhere, you know, bring it to your friend's house, and of course, play Boneworks or Blades and Sorcery, which is absolutely amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything you want to say. Make sure to go support the Patreon, join the Discord, uh, follow me on my Twitch as I do start streaming there again once I get everything set up and, uh, you know, get the fake merch. And as always, guys, stay quested.